tell you regarding the osteoporosis. Does it really exist in us? And if it does, how to avoid it and how to treat it? Uh, he said, how much? Two, 20 million, uh, 200 million. I think every person sitting here more than 50 years is either osteoporotic or going to be osteoporotic. It's not a disease, it's a degenerative process. And be careful, you are not left over without osteoporosis. I always say it is hard to be a woman. You must think like a man, act like a lady, look like a young girl and walk like a horse and having an osteoporotic bone. We all see that how they used to look and what they are now and we are going to have the same future of us if skin goes in that way, the bone will also go in that way. Look at the bone. You see on the right side, it's a normal bone of 20 year old boy the vertebra and you see on the left side it is 60 years old bone this is what you see it so the most common disease in human being is the osteoporosis nothing else because it everybody has a bone bone is going to decay so low bone mass microarchitectural deorientation increase in bone fragility susceptibility of fracture and the definition also says the same. So if you have a normal bone, your density is somewhere about 0.5. And if you are osteoporotic, it is 4. It is all technical word. I am going to tell you how it happens. So you see in mechanical way. It is little uh, hazy here. If you see a stick, it is like if you put a diamond on a edge of a glass and just rip it off. You can break that glass from there. So similarly, if one starts the edging of the bone cracks, then it starts becoming a bone weakness. And then you can break the bone like a stick is broken. So here you see the perforations, which is done by the osteolytic activity of the bone cells. And, and when you see that, the prevalence of low bone mass in osteoporosis in women age 50 years, it, as the age grows, it rapidly and rampantly goes up. So in 1.5 million fractures occurs annually. You can imagine this is the data of America. Here in India, we are not exercising, not having a protein and a good calcium diet. What is the amount of fracture annually going to have it? And the aging process is also going 78, 80 years. See the incidence of osteoporosis. It's alarming, I can tell you. We can't afford in India. Annual incidence per thousand women Look at the fracture. As the age grows, the fracture of vertebra goes. And you see a person, little bend, that means his osteoporosis already started. That's a fracture of the bone. Then the hip and the wrist. If you go, if you see in the men also, we always think that the woman osteoporosis is a woman disease. No, sorry. We have done N numbers of BMD. I have got on my BMD machines. And I have seen that the males are equally involved in osteoporosis than the women. Same age group. Look at the bone. This is the normal bone on your left side. On the right side, you see the severe osteoporotic bone. The patient with prevalent vertebral fracture are five-fold increased risk of fracture. So if you develop one fracture at the age of 60 years because of osteoporosis, the next fracture is impending in another year and next in another year. And then gradually it goes to the hip and the wrist also. Simply if you fall down and your wrist fractures, that means you are osteoporotic. Be careful. Avoid this particular problem. When you are at, at the age of 70 years, you should be completely bowed if you have an osteoporosis. So these are the symptoms what you did. And the symptoms are not the pain only. It is the basically changing structure in your spine, which is the symptom of the osteoporosis. So once you see that little bowing here, one person here is little bowed, that means he has an osteoporosis. He should get his BMD done. It increases the risk fracture risk and increases the mortality because not of the osteoporosis, the disease osteoporosis causes fracture and the treatment will cause it more problem and mortality. The projected number of osteoporotic hip fractures worldwide reaches to 3.25 million in Asia 2050. Imagine. 30 lakh log apne paas osteoporotic fracture ke aayenge. Kya Hindustan usko afford kar sakta hai? Kam se kam 8 November ke baad to bilkul hi nahi. 
Look at the look at the incidence. Now if we have a four selected disease at the age of 60 years. One is breast cancer, stroke, heart attack, and osteoporosis. So if you calculate annual in the incidences, look at that. The breast cancer is the lowest, which we call it a desert disease, and the osteoporotic fracture is 1.5 million. Imagine how broad, how vast it is growing. I will call it is an epidemic which is going to come in next 20 years. So what is the medical impact? Osteoporosis generally does not become clinically apparent until it fractures. It has already happened. Means there is no treatment now for osteoporosis as a prevention. You already have it. So vertebral proximal femur, distal femur, if you have a fracture, think of that. Patients suffering from pain, limited range of motion. For an example, a surgeon standing for four hours in a theater and he has a pain under the knee joint and the upper tibia or the backache, think of osteoporosis. That's the first symptoms. Or the person has a little heavy work today and he has body starts paining. Then you think of an osteoporosis. Look at the financial impact. Nowadays, any fracture hip shall not cost the, the lakh rupees in our hospital, in any hospital in Indore or Ujjain. And if he has a multiple patients in the family, look at this economy after November 8. It's a serious public health problem also. Looking at, he gets on bed, and then once you have an osteoporotic fracture, I tell you it won't heal for one or two years or three years, and it's continuous, going down. In one in three women and one in five men over 50 years experience an osteoporotic fracture. This is not my data, it's an international WHO data. Can we believe that? We have a parents in our family, 70 years, get a fracture, you can see that. Sir, which operation do you prosthesis or nail? And as you put nail, I know that the nail has been cut out. The doctor didn't do the operation properly. No, it's not that. He has done a best job what he could do it. But because of the bone quantum is not there, implant will not stay there and it will come out. But the name goes of the doctor. So it is the osteoporosis which is the problem. I have been in Sweden for so many months and years. I've seen that their BMD at the age of 75 is not more than 1.5 minus. That means they are not osteoporotic. So it's not only genetics, it's the eating habits also and it's exercise also. But in India, how many us do exercise and go to the sun every day? Nobody. Or maybe 10% of the people. So osteoporosis is a serious health problem which is going to rise more and more. And what is the pathophysiology of osteoporosis? I will give you a small clip of a video also after that. It's basically an aging estrogen deficiency in female. The bone resorption and bone formation as equal at the age of 25 years. The bones start decayed at the age of 25 years. We usko it that your Brahmacharya Asan has been finished. After that, when your life starts to grow, your bones start to grow with your mind. So the osteoclasts increase their activity and osteoblast number goes down because all degeneration posts start at 25 years. So take care at the age of 25 years, so you remain 75 years good. But what we do, we start all of retirement. We will also make a house, then we will 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 make a house, and we will make a house, and we will make a house, and we will make a house. So bone resorption and bone formation decreases the ratio as the age grows and then you lead into osteoporosis. So the turnover between the two bones like trabecular bone and the cortical bone like trabecular bones are basically the vertebral bones, the femoral upper end that is neck femur and the lower end of the radius that is coles area or what you call a lower end radius. That is the trabecular bone and cortical bones are the shaft. So the turnover of the, every bone turns over 20% of the skeletal mass in one year. And the trabecular, 80% of the bone turnover. Can you believe that the bone changes every day? It is the most active part of the body than liver. Liver is the first and the bone is the next one. That only heals by its own tissue. Rest, they are healed by the fibrous tissue. Can you believe that? 
If you remove the liver, one, three, seven eighths, it comes up to normal. And if you remove the bone, I can assure you I can form a full femur again by distraction osteosynthesis. That's the bone which forms every day. So in cortical bone, 80% of the skeletal mass is changed over and 20% of the burn turnover changes. So bone always changes. And you see the photo macrograph I will show you, it's an excellent, excellent. They have taken a three months, they have generated a petri dish with a stem cells and then they have changed it into an osteoblast and osteoclast and they have shown that osteoclast eats away first and then the osteoblast starts his action and the forms the bone. This is an electron micrograph or photo, video micrography of the bone, live bone. As you see that on the other side of the picture, you see how the bone starts decaying. The trabecular bone you have seen in the middle and the cortical bone at the periphery. The how it starts osteoclysis. The first of all, all bone in a normal individual also, you see that in all bones, basically the first osteoclast take it the whole bone part and behind that the osteoblast is stimulated and then it generates the new bone. That balance goes on every day in all bones, me, you, everyone. It is happening. When we are sitting it is happening. The thing happens in osteoporosis, the osteoclast starts eating the bone but the osteoblast doesn't follow it. It stops following it or it is not even formed. So the bone Resorption is there, but formation is not there. So the whole treatment now depends on that. Can we stop crisis and can we stimulate blasts? So that is how the bone completely forms. And the whole treatment of nowadays depending on the stopping the crisis and is stimulating the blasting process. So it's how it eats, eats away completely. You can see that the bone is completely eaten and the trabecular fashion is gone. So this is what the pathogenesis is there. So on one side, the osteoclysis eats away the bone. The other side, the osteoblast starts lining it. It continually grows off. So the causes of osteoporosis, we all know that. I don't have to declare it one. But the main three things which I want to emphasize on that, I can't stop alcohol abuse because it is going on at the back. Smoking, I don't know with how many people do that. But the vitamin D deficiency, we all call vitamin D sun mein milta hai, khane mein milta hai, I'm sorry. There is no diet in our diet which gives you vitamin D. I can assure you milk, sorry. Any food product, what we take it doesn't have a vitamin D. Vitamin D is only comes by sun, which is converted into the body. We have a precursor of vitamin D. So if you take vitamin D orally, that also have to be converted into an active form when we go into sun. So my submission to all of you that you should have sun bath at least 15 minutes in the morning. I'm not telling you the treatment at part this, but how do you generate vitamin D in active form? That is 125 dehydroxycalciferol is by the sun blast ultraviolet rays, not the 12 noon sun. It is a seven or eight morning sun is more important for you. Inadequate physical activity. How many of us run three kilometers a day? Or how many of us go to the gym? Upon gym mein jaate hai, gym mein nahi jaate. And calcium diet. Dood mat peena, cholesterol bada jayega. Sorry. Any other thing you can have it? Have the calcium. Then high salt intake is also. Or apne ya to kya ratlan ko rujjain mein to sev ki to bharma re saab. Namak hi namak hai. Excessive thinness, so low weight also causes the problem of osteoporosis because bone only forms on loading. That doesn't mean that you become a 90 kilo or you become a 50 kilo. You should be somewhere average between 60 and 70 kilo. So your body weight also generates pressure on the bone which stimulates the bone formation and immobilization. The all physician who sits from 10 in the morning and get up in the 11 in the night, they are basically immobilized. They burn calorie only hundreds a day. So that is known as immobilization. So you need a mobilization, do a gym or the running. These are the different other causes of the hemochromatic genetic then hypogonadal, you all know that. But the basic thing which I would like to tell you is recent about it is the medication. We give anticoagulants to all patients who come to us, physicians. 
क्लॉपिडोग्रिल एंड एस्परिन दे आर द मेन कॉज ऑफ ऑस्टियोपोरोसिस और हमारे यहाँ तो जो भी सर्जरी करने फ्रैक्चर नेक फीमर आता है वो सात दिन तो बेचारे को इंतजार करना ही पड़ता है एवरी वन गेट्स ए क्लॉपिडोग्रिल एंड एस्परिन आई डोंट नो हाउ फार इज गोइंग टू वर्क इन पेशेंट्स विदाउट सी ए डी पी पी आई सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द ऑल लिटरेट वर्किंग पर्सन हु आर इन ऑफिस दे टेक पी पी आई आई हैव सीन दैट किसी के पास सर पी पी आई तो लेते हैं हम पेंटोसिट तो ले रहे हैं ऐसे लॉक तो चलता है सर रेवी प्रजॉल रोज लेती है रात को सर सो दीज आर द कॉजेज ऑफ ऑस्टे प्रोसेस मिथोट्रिक्स एंड स्टेराइज दैट इज फॉर बेसिकली इन रोमेट्रॉइड डिसीज और एनी अदर एलर्जिक डिसीज कॉजेज थारोटॉक्सिकोसिस इज अ मेन कॉज बिकॉज थारॉइड एक्सेसिव कॉजेज बोन नेक्रोसिस सो हाउ डू यू डायग्नोज इज by the history we know that pain in the bone deformity repeated fractures these are the history what you take it physical examination bmd assessment vertebral imaging echo one by one this is how do you do physical examination loss of height is the first symptom of osteoporosis if you have lost your height 5.5 cm or 1 cm in year think of that and it is very easy to measure it against the wall and the distance between the chest and the vertebra there are serum markers we normally doesn't go with the serum marker they are costly also but these are only to mention here that we have a system to know that the bone turnover is there or not then vertebral imaging we can image vertebrae by x rays also but i will still tell you the best way of doing and diagnosis is the bmd uh, for an example in x ray if you see that it is definitely a pathological fracture or it is an osteoporosis one reason for that and then i standardize it these are the different ways of doing it but the dexa dual x ray imaging is the best technique and the best method to diagnose a bm the the uh, the osteoporosis and you know the markers of osteopenia if it is less than 0.25 minus it is penia it is less than minus 1 it is normal and if it is more than minus 2.5 it is osteoporosis and you should only rely on dexa rather than ultrasonic machine which is a foot ultrasonic machine it gives you a rampant different type of the results so these are and don't go for the z score only see the t score because that is the important z is basically for the bone constant so these are the show, these are the basically results which are shown there so and that is the result how do you get the results and you see that so indications for the bmd how, when do you get a bmd if a patient comes to you is regardless of clinical risk patient above 65 men above 70 i will reduce down in india 10 years below women above 55 with menopause or without menopause and the men age 70 now menopause also occurs at 35 years in indians because do bacche hue bleeding hui hysterectomy to hona hi hai ophorectomy ke sath so that is a menopause and they are the most vulnerable people to have osteoporosis so i will suggest all my gynecology friends which are not here at present if you do a complete total hysterectomy with ophorectomy please put them on some sort of an anti osteoporotic treatment and i would recommend if they don't have a breast cancer or uterine cancer which was there put them on estrogen replacement therapy that's the treatment i recommend to all patient who have gone hysterectomy before the age of 40 years that's the treatment of choice with clinical factors of fracture young post menopausal women in menopausal transition and men between the 50 and 69 with clinical risk of factors i will give you all my doc doctor colleagues or physicians who are not doing activity should be 50 years If you are 50, think of osteoporosis. Get a BMD done. That is easy. 10 minutes job. Go and get it done. Adult with condition like rheumatoid or on glucocorticoids or steroids or any other drug which are causing basically aspirin and anticoagulants should think of the BMD to be getting done. And this is the result. If it is there, you can definitely think. The B and Z score. I won't be go. And the markers are there. So it's a detail. So we we leave all this. problem there we come down to basically the risk factors now you see that in current age if you are taking three pegs of alcohol every day go for bmd that's what the main tag line of today 
smokers uh, yes definitely and uh, i think the smoker is smoking in india has been reduced now quite a lot the additional different investigations are there and then the the thing which is to be ponder on that is the management of the osteoporosis so what is the general recommendations and pharmacological recommendation i will always go for the first half of the general recommendation which is the most important adequate daily intake of calcium and vitamin d we lose 2 grams of calcium every day we need 2 grams of calcium supplement every day either in the form of a diet or the form of elemental calcium in the form of pharmacological medicines so calcium is most important and a calcium which can be absorbed properly this company i am not boasting this company but they have a calcium which is a real calcium elemental can be absorbed up to 40 to 50% less all all calciums which has a carbonate with they absorb only 10% of it so you have to take four tablets of them here one tablet of them will work it out and i have tested it the bmd has increased really so the recommendation is 100 mg of day calcium daily by the pharmacology medicine and by 1000 by 1000 plus 1000 that is goes to 2000 and 1200 mg day of calcium to women above so in women we need more calcium so control clinical trials show reduced fracture risk with combination of supplement with vitamin d and vitamin d is important for the absorption of calcium we all know that not only from the intestine from cell to cell also plus we need a boron which is important we need a k2 also for absorption of calcium so the and the goal of general recommendation which regularly weight bearing fall prevention which is little difficult with a very good tiles and a sangmarmar niche bichha ke upar pani us pe dal ke chalna sabse khatarnak cessation of tobacco evidences of excessive alcohol intake i repeat all the time alcohol intake should be avoided for more than one or one and a half peg every day or rather three to four pegs a week are sufficient sorry the population based strategy for prevention and treatment of osteoporosis is all this if you avoid it you can really prevent the osteoporosis so the increased bone strength is now the treatment of the osteoporosis the objective is inhibit the osteoclast stimulate the osteoblast so how do you the whole pharmacology now depends on two how to reduce the osteoclast how to in, increase the osteoblast so the treatment are two part the post molar pause in the main age of 50 years are presenting with following to be considered if you have this age consideration you should have treatment started the anti resorptive we have bisphosphonates alendronate ibendronate residronate zolandric acid the convenient dose is the zolandric acid the most tedious is alendronic acid but i will give you one small hint and a very cautious thing don't use bisphosphonate for more than 2 years in continuation because they keep bone more weak after 2 years and those fracture will never heal by any particular procedures this is an straight away my submission to all of you if you are giving bisphosphonate for more than 2 years just stop them because they big bone necrosis so use for 6 months stuff for 6 months use for 6 months stuff for 6 months calcitonin is wonderful it doesn't stimulate bone neither it's delay the osteoclasis it is only a good bone analgesic so calcitonin is nothing to do with the bone formation estrogen is very good in women and men if you give estrogen then you have lot many problems estrogen agonist like raloxifen is very good below the age of 50 years for the female and tissue selective estrogen complex like an injection of estrogen replacement that like basidoxifen is very good in female not in male so what are these are basically anti osteoclastic activity we are stopping the clysis but you can't stop clysis all the time because if you stop the clysis bone will not form because osteoblast only forms when osteoclysis is there so now what you need is an anabolic medicine which stimulate like aapne band to kar diya destruction par bone kahan hai bone to hai nahi ab bone kaise form karoge aap paise to gaye aapke ab aapne kharcha band kar diya par bank mein fixed deposit to chahiye aapko 
उसके लिए आपको एनाबोलिक मेडिकेशन देना पड़ेंगे जो बोन फॉर्म करते हैं एंड दे आर नोन एज पैराथायराइड हॉर्मोन दे आर टेरा पैराटाइड दे आर नॉट कंप्लीटली एम नॉ क्वेश्चन इज यू ऑल से पैराथायरमोन तो बोन को खराब करता है यस इट डज बट इफ इट यूज ऑल कॉम्बिनेशन चेन ऑफ पैराथायरमोन इट डिस्ट्रॉयज द बोन दिस टेरा पैराटाइड इज ए थर्टी फोर अमाइनो आइसिड चेन ऑफ parathyroid hormone which stimulates osteoblasts only for 5 minutes if you give an injection it goes in circulation stimulate osteoblasts and destroy itself so it doesn't act like a parathyroid it only acts like a teraparatide stimulator of the osteoblast there are other how, how do we go for the therapy guideline first line agent second line agent last line agent and patients with very high fracture risk in whom bisphosphonate therapy has failed in teraparasite so first the patient comes to you don't jump for terapide these are all american standard what i do when it is less than minus 3 i use bisphosphonates and calcium and vitamin d and exercise and sun bath every day and if it is minus 3.5 i directly jump to the teraparatide i don't wait because all this medicine they take at least 1.5 years to act on bone if you wait for them to occur already you have developed huge osteoporosis so my indications and my treatment plan is minus then 3 use all bisphosphonates calcium all supplements exercise Minus 3.5. Don't wait that my bisphosphonate is going to increase the bone density. You can start away straight away teraparatide till bone density increases by minus 2.5, and it will take at least 18 months after teraparatide to increase the bone density. And if you still feel that your density is not increasing, then you have a next thing which is known as denosumab. which is a injection full human monoclonal antibody against rna kl inhibits osteoclastic mediated bone resorption 1 reduces incidence of fracture after 3 years and gain in bmd after 10 years of therapy which is up to 21.7 in lumbar and it's a cochrane study and total hip in 9.2% so there is another one this is monoclonal it's very costly Uh, i can assure you it is still not available very easily in india i have used in only one patient so these are the general recommendation in chart form and this is the basic all individual osteoporosis theory how do you individualize it but the recommendation i again telling you these are basically minus 3 and plus minus 3 the treatment becomes totally different so i'll give you a, this is very important slide primary prevention treatment of post menopausal osteoporosis therapeutic consider alendronate disulfide then strong evidence of anti fracture spine you have to decide what you want to do in this stage so in older menopausal women who has taken riloxifen for several years now what to give consider switching to the first line and then riloxifen not proven to decrease the risk of hip fracture then change into the different treatment plan other newer agents after if it is not available then strontium which is a calcium substitute promotes bone formation as well as inhibit bone resorption 37 reduction in vertebral fracture in 3 years 43 reduction in hip fractures why i am giving these data are basically what we want with these drugs is to avoid the fracture we are least concerned about the bmd if bmd doesn't increase and my fracture ratio decreases down i am happy and that's what i want but it doesn't happen your bmd sometime goes up still your fracture is still are there because you have a fragility also with the bmd so other pharmacological therapies are uh, i have skipped them side yeah this one should come first drug on horizon which are coming up recently which are these are known as anti sclerostin antibodies what is sclerostin antibodies sclerostin is an osteocyte derived inhibitor of osteoblast so there is a bone generated mediator which reduces the osteoblastic activity and this is important because if it is not there then it will give you a cancer 
stimulation of the osteoblast. So it has to be there. So it, what happens if it is too much, it reduces the osteoblast. And these drugs causes reduction of antiscleroestin. So the osteoblast start forming again. So these are the latest concept. In July 26, 2016, biological license application still submitted, but it is an excellent drug in the trials in uh, European countries. Next one, which is better than teraparatide, which is a parathyroid hormone related, same monoclonals. These are novel synthetic peptide, analog of PTH, anabolic agents for postmenopausal osteoporosis, self-administered, daily injection like that. This is the only disadvantage of teraparatides are, basically you have to take every day. But compared to teraparatide, it reduces major osteoporotic fractures 55%. It is costly. The only thing at present, teraparatide is still costly. It is more costlier than that. So can we afford it? But then again, you have no choice. There's another drug which is coming up in a horizon of anti-osteoporotic anti treatment is cathapsin. A major osteoclast-derived proteolytic enzyme in bone, degraded in type 1 collagen and other bone matrix, studied demonstrate CAT-K inhibits increased bone mass, improved bone microarchitecture and strength. But as of September 2000, further development of Odonocat stopped due to the risk of stroke. It causes the stroke increase. So they have stopped it and discontinued. Now, all this treatment goes on the pharmacology. You have developed a fracture. Now my thing starts. What I can do in these type of fractures when we have it? If there's a severe pain, there is a severe disability and mortality and morbidity. So what we do normally with these are fractures with the neuro decom we decompress it and then we put a cement inside the bone and then we fix it with the fracture. If there is a no compression, only single bone is compressed and no neurological deficit, we do a intravertebral transpedicular cementing of the bone. As you inject the cement, your osteoporosis bone gets fixed, your pain disappears next day. It's a miracle, I can assure you. If you have an osteoporotic patient with a fracture of the vertebra with severe pain, this is the treatment of choice. If you have multiple collapses, we do balloon plasty also. But you can't inject a cement for more than two vertebra. So be careful, two vertebra, we can cement it. These are the failed HTO due to the high osteoporotic index. They have failed, they have gone in deformity. So we did basically did the bilateral knee replacement at eight years and we kept it on, we kept it on teraparatide for two years. Now this fellow is now 82 years old and he is doing everything. Why did I give anti-osteoporotic treatment teraparatide in this patient in knee replacement? I want my knee there for next 15 years. Because my bone is not strong, the whole implant will dislodge. So therefore, I need to have an anti-osteoporotic treatment with knee. So these are the complications of the osteoporosis. You can see the neck femur fracture, the humerus just fall, have a four part fracture, the supracondylar fracture. And worst of all, if you have a beautiful knee replacement done and you developed a fracture like this, then you have it. You have no bone left, so you have to do all these procedures. Plus, don't forget, replace them with the anti-osteoporotic treatment. So this is what you do it. And the differential diagnosis in osteoporosis is the last thing to come is mats, myeloma, and osteoporotic fractures. They look alike. Get the things, sort it out by different investigations, and then do it. So you know, in conclusion, I've already told what are the conclusions of my, these are only repetitions of conclusions. The each drug possesses specific advantage and disadvantages. You have to decide them, what you want to give and when you want to give it. So if you have a bisphosphonates, the question is how long you give it? I told you six months gap, six months, two, more, two years you to give it. If you are giving zolandranic acid, every year one injections for three years. If you are giving bisphosphonates, need to be taken empty stomach, which is the worst part, and you have to be there for upright for at least an hour, and delaying food for at least one hour. So early morning, sabko chai lagti hai, usi din hum usko dete hain, bada muskil ka kaam hai. 
Teraparatide, beautiful drug, every day that's a disadvantage. Riloxifen increases menopausal hot flushes, but wonderful for the women who are going early menopause. So there is a need of a drug that could, with high safety, increase bone mass, improve biomechanics, reduces fracture risk, while giving long-lasting benefits, even if the treatment is stopped, new and potential high affection agents may offer a novel therapeutic tool to counteract. And I can tell you the researchers are going on antibody, anticlonal antibodies. And they are going to come within two years, which is easy to take it. It will be in the form of a nasal snuff, and then you can have an anti-osteoporotic treatment done. Thank you very much.